Okay. Your favorite piece of art. Rembrandt, Night Watch. What's your favorite dish? Ooh, I love food. So it's very hard to point something out, but most likely grilled fish. What's your guilty pleasure? Wine, red wine. Which composer you don't click with? I must say, I'm, I've been trying to love Janacek more than, than, than I actually do, and I, I, I have not been able to truly connect with Janacek. If you're a king, what would you do first? I probably would require that music and art would be taught in every kindergarten, school, university as a major, major subject. I would like to sort of magically be able to speak every language. I would like to be able to teleport myself from one place to another so I would never have to see another airport again. <laughs> if you're an animal. Mm, I am an animal. Um, human beings are animals. Probably one of those animals that <clears throat> don't come in contact with humans and who have no danger of being extinct. With my schedule, even the thought of a bed makes me fall asleep. So there is no, no, and never has been a situation where I'm in bed and I can't sleep. I usually even fall asleep sometimes <laughs> when there is no bed in sight. Um, I have only a few times been that lucky and uh, basically, I must admit, there is a certain part of part in me that has a kind of a voyeur tendency. I, in general, am somebody who enjoys looking, looking into other people's lives quietly. BJ. Some people call me BJ. How you would like to die at an extremely old age, surrounded by 20 or 30 or 50 grandchildren? <laughs> uh, well, a dreamcast for the dinner party. Dinner parties are always interesting if there are a lot of conflicting people who are polite only the first two drinks and then after that an enormous fight breaks out over politics, art, sex, love, mobile phone. <laughs> um, probably not. Um, I'm not sure I would want to be on a deserted island and I don't think that I will have a choice to bring anything if I end up on a deserted island. But um, I don't really value things so much, possessions so much. It would be nice if I could bring my two girls. What is the most annoying noise for you? Is when you are in an elevator or in a restaurant or someplace in a car, in a taxi, somewhere, and there is this music that nobody can really hear, just the bass line. And it is, it's there, but you can't really listen to it. And it is just noise and it's, it is uh, invisible. And, and yet it's always there annoying you. This, this, this type of thing really annoys me. It's so dirty that I can't tell it here. It is, it is simply not, it would disqualify me from any other further interviews ever. Now that I'm thinking about it, I actually don't even think any viola jokes that are not dirty, so I must pass on this one. I am honest. Um, that doesn't mean that I don't lie sometimes. So I consider myself a very honest person, but there are... My grandmother used to always say, <clears throat> it's very, very bad to lie, unless it's an emergency. Favorite curse word? <clears throat> I, can, it's, I can only give you half of that word, and it's, and it's mother.